Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you the easiest way to make Celtic knot. In this case I'm turning it into earrings. You could do so many different other creations with it and uh, it is the easiest way and if you, even if you are a complete beginner you will be able to make it. I'm using really simple stuff, seed beads that you could find in any beading store. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment and especially for this video I want to thank to Cassie De Jong that gave me the idea that share a lot of pictures of her work that she did following my tutorials and she also supported me in PayPal. I want to thank to all of you that support me love your comments, love your designs that you're sending me. You could check description for full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to the social networks where you could share your work that you did following my tutorials on Facebook and Instagram especially. Now without further ado I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using for this video are Tenno seed beads in this beautiful ivory color. Here I'm using Eto beads in red color. You could choose any colors you like as long as they are contrasting colors. And here I use earring findings in all gold color and matching jump rings. Here I use monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could also use nylon thread or other thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and here I have pliers that I use to attach the jump rings and the earring findings to my work. Okay, so now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now what I'm going to do is start the herringbone stitch. If you're not familiar with it, it's really easy and simple and I'll show you step by step. Okay, I'm taking a 10 seed beads and an 8 seed bead. Okay, I take those two. And now guys, what I'm going to do is slide those beads down, but I'll leave a small tail and uh, later I will put my needle on this tail and I will make a knot and finish my work. So um, leave a small tail and now as I'm exiting here through this red bead I'm going backwards through the ivory bead and I make a loop between them. Okay then I will go here one more time to make them stay nice and tight, like this. Okay, and then what I do is something really simple and really easy. I take another 10 and another 8 and I go through the 8 Okay. Then I'm going through those two beads like this. Okay, like this. Then again, what I'm going to do is take one tenno, one eto, and I'm going back. You could go through one, but I want to make my work stay nice and tight. That's why I'm going through all of those beads backwards and through all of those beads in this direction. In this way, I tighten up these red beads here. Okay, then again, I take one, then one more. I go like this. I'm going through two. You could go through one as well. Uh, when you make herringbone, usually you go through one backwards, but now, as I said, I want to tighten up my work. Okay, you see how it bends, it's normal, this is a wanted effect, so I'm doing it, okay, like this. And this herringbone stitch could be made with the same size beads. And in this way you make something like a rope of two rows of beads. 
if you continue this. Okay. Now, guys, what I have here are six, six rows of herringbone. And for this work, I will make 55 rows. Okay, I will continue doing this. And when I have 55 rows, I will be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and when I continue this work to the 54th row, in fact, now I'm at the 54th row. This is what I have. It turns around like a spiral. You see how cute it looks. And now I will make the last row. Like this. And like this. Now I have 55 rows. Okay, guys, and now as I'm at the 55th row, uh, you see, I will. I had this tail thread here in the beginning that I told you that I'm leaving. And you see, here I put another needle on this side. Uh, you could use one and the same needle, remove this from here and put it here. But I put another um, needle here at this side where I started my work from. And now uh, what I want to do is go in this direction, through some beads, make a knot and cut my thread. Okay. I'm making here a loop between those two red beads. And I go once and second time through this loop, pull, go through the next thread and you could repeat this knot several times. When you're ready, go through the next bead and cut your thread. And now you see this uh, edge here is clean and this is what we need for our work. And uh, this one, here is a needle and a thread attached to the last row that I did, to the 55th row. Okay, so now, guys, what I want to do here is make this Celtic knot that I mentioned in the beginning. And how I do this, I make here a loop like this. You see, it's easy to make it in this loop. And then what I do is to put this um, this part inside inside this loop and then what I do is that I'm going to pull a little bit and meet those two two, si two sides together okay like this and you see this Celtic knot now is working so let me show you one more time I'm making here a loop like this and I put this in the loop, the one that I cut my thread off and I meet these two ends together. Okay, so now I'm exiting out of this white or ivory bead and I'm going in the next ivory like this. then through the red and through the next reds like this then i go back again like this by the way you could go a little bit further as well then go back and do it until it you can show that here is the connection you see and then after that i will continue some more in this direction i want to make a knot the same way i showed you before and cut my thread okay here is a loop go twice through the loop i've made and pull 
and like this then I cut my thread and you see now guys you need a little bit of fixing of your work okay like this to start looking as this Celtic knot now I think it is okay now of course you could do additional reinforcement of the red piece at the edge or uh, you could might decide to connect with thread these three parts to make it stay uh, in the same shape all the time and not move around but this is not obligatory I think this way is good enough okay and now it's time to attach my earring uh, finding and how I do this I take this jump ring and I will open this one up with my pliers okay then I will choose a place you could do it here 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 wherever you like and I'm going to put here some in some bit that looks like a middle a middle bit I'm going to put this jump ring okay like this and then I'm taking one earring finding and I squeeze back like this and like this then I'll turn like this and my Celtic knot earring is ready again thank to Cassie de Jean for sending me the idea for these earrings okay so if you like what I'm showing you here it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials i will be so happy to see and share your creations with the community here on youtube thank you so much for watching check my second channel with the fast clips and Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. Bye bye from me.